Hi everyone and welcome to Sunday's live YouTube. I am there is a huge oops, fundraising listening to my commercial on my Democrats. thing, of course, checking right my now. sound. Everything, everything seems to be working. All right. How is everybody today? It is Sunday at noon Pacific time. Um, let me just find my channel because it looks like I can't see the comments yet. And now I can. <sighs> so, quick update on a few things. Oh, jeez. You can tell I've been wrestling around with a two-year-old, right? So, my grandson's here visiting, as I told you. And he is keeping us busy. Mom and Dad, which is my son and my daughter-in-law, went and drove to Santa Barbara to an outdoor beach wedding. My son was in a wedding. Hi, Steph. I'm, I'm still surviving. We still have him. So they flew in on Wednesday. And then on Friday, they drove to Santa Barbara for the wedding that my son's in. And so we have had Grayson. I'm going to show you a cute little picture we took today so you know who we're talking about. So we have him. Hi, Olivia. From... Friday until tonight and mom and dad are driving back so you may hear him in the background he's out playing with Papa and Ani was going to have him come in and say hi but we decided he hasn't seen this room yet and we decided we may not get him out and he'll scream and when he goes out with Papa so we decided let's not do that I showed you a picture you know he's here visiting and um, there you go so we're having a lot of fun with that um, another update, the house apparently next door did sell. They did accept an offer. We don't know anything about the people yet. It's for sale, so that's all we know. So that's up on that front. And um, I have a terrible sinus allergy thing going on. Have to share that. We went to go take family pictures. My daughter-in-law wanted us to all get pictures. And the photographer took us to an almond orchard. Now, I have lived here in Central California my whole life. I never had an issue with allergies, but this last probably two months on and off, I have had them. And so we live by some cottonwood trees, I guess. And that was my first issue, I believe. And now almond orchards, who knew? But anyway, I'm getting much better today. So, whew. okay, let's get busy. We have a lot to do, um, a really fun project. So what I'm gonna do is tell you I saw this project online by Karen Delat, D-E-L-A-A-T from the Netherlands. And I was looking for something to put my six by six papers in. So you know the six by six come in this, most of the time in this crinkly paper. And yes, you can open it up and you can pull your papers out. But then what happens, this rips and it's just a thinner paper and to put them back in is a pain. I did buy some nice stencil. Hi, Felicia. Welcome back. I did buy some nice uh, stencil packaging, but it still is a pain to get the papers in and mess with them and then go through and get what you want without it ripping. And so I was kind of looking for something. You know that I do my 12 by 12s like this and I cut them down four by six. And so this works perfect for me to put my DSP in here that are 12 by 12s and I cut them down. So I wanted something for the six by sixes and I saw Karen, she actually was doing another video. Hi, Carol. Um, she was doing another video and then she pulled this out and then she happened to say, oh, if you're interested in this, I'll show you. And so this is what we're talking about. It's a cute, little box and I taped the back on that shows what the paper is and the so I can know what the colors are that are in here I chose a piece and put it on the front now I also have it in a tray that's like this so I can just look across the top and see what it is and I use that with my um, my brother label maker so I did that nice and big for the blind people um, which is me. And so we're going to show you how to create this box. And this just fits 
I had, took a pack of paper here, and this is the Forever Green, Forever uh, Flowers for Every Season, is what this is, this one. So today we're going to show you another one, and I have little pieces still in here. So if you take them out, I have my little parts in the front that I can still use for stuff. And so I don't always just take all these out like I just did. So they stay in pretty good shape in the front of everything. So I know that I have some little pieces still available to use. I can hear Grayson out there just, he's eating lunch right now. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, when I saw that she did this, I was like, okay, yes, I do want to see your video. So again, she's from the Netherlands and... Um, so this was not my idea, but I think it's genius. So I wanted to share it again with the U.S. in case you haven't seen it. All right, so let's get busy. You guys, August is almost over. I can't believe it. If you have not used your coupons, if you are a custom, customer of mine, I had mailed you some coupons for that we that I earned in July to give to you to use in August. So please don't forget to use those. Hi, Bonnie, Kentucky, welcome. Oh, and again, you guys, I did, this is my third dip pedicure that I did. I'm pretty proud of myself. This is color changing. Let me see if I can show you. I have some water right here. I'll show you my color changing polish. But it's really fun and super easy. I did not think it was going to be this easy, but I don't think I'm going to go to a nail salon again. I've already told you guys that. And um, I'm loving it. So I'm trying to see if my polish will turn color here for you. No, doesn't look like it yet. So we'll get there maybe by the end. It's the hot and cold polish. It just turns a super light frosty pink. All right. So what you're going to need is I am going to have a PDF for you guys on my blog. Okay. So what I'm going to do, thanks Debbie. It's a little um, more than I would normally do, but I like it. It's fun. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to go step by step by my directions because I did have to change a few numbers. So I want to make sure that the directions are exactly right. And of course, I've been busy with my grandson and not testing it. Um, the one I had was off a little bit. So I'm, I'm going to start this one from scratch is what I've decided. So that way we can make sure that it is exactly what we want. Now, this paper that I'm going to use is retired, but I still have a lot of these stamp sets, so I wanted to make this to keep it around um, and use it. Obviously, the poppies are still a current stamp set, so I will be using these, these poppy papers for something. I still have all of these sets, okay, so I want to still use these, and I hate them in those plastic packages, so we're going to go ahead and do this one. So this one was the sampler set actually that um, I think they gave these out with the kit when they were when you were signing up. So the designers pa um, sampler package. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be using. So I took two pieces here. I'm going to put the balloons on the front. I thought that would be kind of fun. I tried to pick a piece that I'm not going to use a lot of, um, and because I have several of these pieces. And I have these animals, so I thought these were cute with solid colors. And I didn't want to use this up, so I went ahead and used the balloons. Um, because I do have a larger package of this still. So what you're going to do is, um, I'm going to start out with the cardboard. All my little DSP pieces got away. Here. I'm going to set these aside. Over there. I feel like I haven't been in here for days because I haven't. All right, so we're just going to go down, and it says um, create a paper storage 6x6. Six six. Be sure you add your information on the back, so make sure you don't throw this away, okay, because you want to keep this to add it to the back. I already made my label, and I also put it just, I wrote an R on there because that's what's going to happen once this package retires. I'm going to add an R for retired so I know that this is not current anymore. All right, so as you probably know, with designer series paper, for example, this stamp set has retired 
The tropical one has not, but the paper retired. So the DSP paper almost 99% of the time retires. Okay, the poppy set is still available, but the paper is not. So if you ever wanna buy a bundle that comes with the paper, make sure you get it because the paper may not be around, but I can still use this paper. I can't really use it to do cards. I mean, I can if I want it online, but you can't buy it. So I, I hate to tease you and say, oh, look how pretty this paper is. Oops, sorry, I can't buy it. But for this, I the, the box is the main thing. And so I just kind of wanted to let you know that. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna turn this over. All right, what you need is a piece of cardboard and it's I would suggest a 12 by 12. Now, when I say that, when you get your gold foil paper or your bronze or whatever, and um, or other specialty papers, there's usually a cardboard in the back. Sometimes it's a white piece with our label on it that I just cut out, but a lot of times it's cardboard. This just came from a package that was um, the backing for something. And I have a lot of them around. Even the back, see like this. So even the backing for your um, your grid sheets is a perfect piece of cardboard because it's not too thick. So don't throw your cardboard away. I've done several projects that require the, the paper and you don't want to throw that away, okay? Even your little catalogs that you get, like when you get your catalogs in the mail, it has this piece of cardboard on the back to keep your catalog nice and, and firm. Um, don't throw that away. Keep it. There's always handy things with the cardboard. All right. So the front piece, we're going to do a front and a back. So when we look at this, when I say front, this is the front panel and this is the back panel. Okay. So you're going to see this is firm. It's got cardboard in that. So it doesn't get all wobbly. Okay. So this is the front, this is the back. So on your front piece of cardboard, you're gonna want a six by five. So this is six and this is by five. And then on your back, and like I said, all your all the measurements you guys will be on my blog, so don't worry about that. And I will also have a PDF on there for you. So you can just print it out and you can print that in color if you want or whatever. Okay, so the back is gonna be six by six and a half. Okay, six by six and a half. So that's the front and the back. The next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna want your designer series paper. So this is what your paper is gonna look like when you pull out your one sheet, okay? And so your one sheet, you're going to cut into four by six. Okay, so now you have this left over. Let me confirm this really quick. That is not four by six. See, this is what I'm saying. Let me look at my other cheat sheet here. Four and seven eighths. Yes, four and seven eighths. So see, I'm going to make this correction for you. I had a feeling this was wrong. four and seven eighths by six. So that's what you want. And that's going to go on the front panel of your project. Now you're going to keep this part and you're going to put it on the inside. So when you see here, it's going to go right here. Okay. So that's going to be, it's just going to help it because you're going to see this edge right here when you fold it. And that just keeps that smoother area right there. All right. All right, so we're going to need that. So just cut that bottom portion off, and then there you go. And we're going to set that aside. All right, we're going to set our cardboard aside. Now you're going to pull in your two pieces. So when I say you're going to need two solid pieces of cardstock, I got Calypso Coral. And on your back piece, you need it seven and a half by eight and a quarter. So I'm just going to test this. Seven and a half by eight and a quarter. So that's your one larger piece. And then your smaller piece on the back side. On your front, this is your front side, is going to be seven and a half 
by six and a quarter. Okay, so that's your two pieces here. I love this color, it's really pretty. All right. So now we're gonna take the back piece. The scoreboard is gonna be your friend on this project. So we're gonna bring the scoreboard in and I'm going to put it up there. Now it says, with the seven and a half inch side at the top, which is gonna be the shorter side, okay, we're going to score it at six. The seven and a half top, score at six. All right, we're gonna score at six. I don't know why this is making me hesitate here. Something did not copy over correctly. So let me read, let me, I'm gonna go back to this other one here. All right, seven and a half at the top, we're gonna go up five eighths. So five eighths you're gonna score, and you are gonna score at six and seven eighths. Um, six and seven eighths right here, all right? Now this one's a little bit larger than this one, so keep that in mind. You're gonna have one just a little bit different. Now we're gonna turn it. So at the eight and a quarter side, you are going to score at five eighths again. And you are gonna score at seven and a quarter. I'm gonna take these off because we have so many different sizes going on. All right, so again, you're gonna notice this is the large one and this is the shorter one. So this one's done here. Now, along the eight and a quarter, you're going to also put a small tick mark at five and three quarters. So you're just going to do a little tick mark right here, flip it this way, and do another tick mark, okay? Uh-oh. Can you guys see me now? Can you guys see me? I'm here. I'm getting people saying that I'm not here. Okay, Doreen, you can see me. Okay, so I didn't go anywhere. Apparently, a couple of people said that they lost me. Everybody can see me all right? Doreen says yes. Okay, I'm not sure what happened to a couple people. Two people said they, they lost me. Where did I go? Okay, good. Then you guys are okay. Okay, so you're going to do your two tick marks at five and three quarters. Okay, so one there and then you flip it this way and one here. Okay, now that one's good for the large. So we're going to set that one aside and we're going to bring in the small one. So on the small one, on the seven and a half side, again, you're going to do five eighths right here. Oops, I turned my thing. Five eighths. I like to use the larger one. Is it Al Alina? Alina? Alanya? Welcome. All right. So we just scored this one. We're on the seven and a half side, and we're going to go to six and seven eighths. So six and seven eighths, and we're going to score this one. Hi, Lisa. We're going to turn it. Now we're on the six and a quarter side and we're gonna to go to five eighths. Again, don't worry about sizes and all that. Um, this will be on my blog. Oh, Felicia, I'm not sure. So many people did not lose me, but then other people did. Bo Bonnie, I hope you can find me again. Sorry about that, guys. So many kept me, but a few didn't. All right, so we did the five eighths and now five and three quarters. All right, and we're gonna go down that way. So now we've got all our measuring here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is show you, this is the larger piece, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like when we're done. All right, so you're gonna see at the top there is the larger image, the larger border than the bottom one. Okay, so let's show you. This is the larger border. And then this is the shorter one. Okay, so 
I'm going to go move this out of the way now. We don't need this anymore. All right, so we are going to take our bone folder and we're going to go ahead and get everything turned. We're going to crease everything, get it burnished. All right, so again, this is the top because it's the wider one than down here, all right? And then we're going to look at this picture again, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So, well, I'll show you in just a minute. Let me show you what we're going to do here. So we're going to go ahead and cut. So one of these sides right here is going to be the side right here. And this is kind of an important part to remember. You want this side to be nice and straight, but only one of them needs to be straight because you don't want them at, you don't want to an angle right here, but maybe you do underneath. And I do one thing a little differently and I'll show you. So let's cut this first. We are going to cut a little bit of an angle here. Now this is the larger piece. All right. And we're going to cut a little bit of an angle here. So remember, this is going to be the back piece. Now, remember our tick mark right here? We have our tick mark. We want to go straight right here. And we're going to do a little bit of a wedge right there. Okay. And we're wedging it. We're going to wedge it. it Bonnie, it will all be on the, the PDF. Don't worry about it. You'll have all the measurements and everything. You're going to go straight here and wedge this because when you fold your pieces in, you don't want little pieces hanging out and you'll see when we put this together. All right, we're going to wedge this just a little bit and then we are going to cut this straight. Okay, now don't forget this is the top right here. All right, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut this straight. Yay, Carmen. We're going to wedge that a little bit. Again, there's our next tick mark right there. We're going to go straight. And then we're going to just wedge this just a little. And when I say a wedge, look at that's just a little tiny bit. It's just so this little corner doesn't stick out. Okay. Hello, Tashana. Welcome. All right. So there are those right there. We're going to go down here because we didn't do this corner like we did that. So we're going to wedge it just a little bit and wedge this one just a little right there. All right, so now if you look at this piece and we're gonna look at this piece and this will be on your PDF, you're gonna see where you wedged, where you cut and what's going on and just to make sure because this is the hardest part when you're trying to read directions that say wedge here, wedge there, you know, that kind of thing, it's kind of hard. So I like the visual. Hi, Frenchie. Welcome. All right. So now that's what this top piece looks like. Okay. So let me set that one aside. And now we're going to go to the small one. All right. So here's this one. Let's get this one all folded in and burnished also. Just makes it easier. I'm going to set that one over a bit. These boxes are just so handy. I cannot tell you. I cannot believe that I have been, you're welcome, Bonnie, that I have been doing this um, paper crafting for so many years and not had something like this. This is just absolutely crazy. All right. Now this one, the large edge is going to be on the bottom. So here's the larger. It's slightly bigger, but you can definitely tell a difference. Okay. So I'm going to turn it over like this because this is what the picture looks like here. Let me show you. So this is what the bottom or the top portion looks like. All right. So let's get back over here and then we'll go back over there and look at it. So you're going to take your scissors and this is where you want that straight edge right here. So just go straight. And then this one can just be just slightly cut. Okay, now this is the top again, don't forget. So a little right there and cut straight. 
all right so that's our top part the bottom part remember you want your tags to be hanging down because when you fold it your tabs are going to go inside so don't cut them open this way because you, ju you don't want them to go up you want them to have that firmness on the bottom so make sure you look at the picture so we're going to go up and then just a slight little wedge out of there again okay we're going to go straight up and a little wedge okay so there's your wedge and i like to leave those and it once you get in there and start it if your cutting's a little off you can always wedge those just a little bit so let's start putting it together and we'll see i'm going to try and i tried taping this down so it wouldn't move all over but i i really don't think i need it other than the white kind of does weird stuff to the screen all right so now we're going to bring in so wait let me show you really quick again so if you look at this and look here you can see where your cutting is and what you did all right so that's the important part and your wedging you guys does not have to be perfect and i'll show you what that means all right so we're going to turn our two pieces over let's take the back panel first so if you put this like this you're going to notice it's a little bit too long and that doesn't work i also wrote right here so i'm going to turn this over and that way so now you can tell how everything is going to align all right now what i like to do is i like to put this up first and this like this why because your papers are going to slide right here right and you don't want this because this will just give that much more i think with this holding it in and you tape it down really good you're going to be better off all right i like to use my white liner tape and you can use what you want i also use my stamp and seal plus so we'll be using both today and you'll see i'm going to put it on my cardboard because my cardstock because i want it close to the edge okay so make sure you get them all close to the edge now i'm like i haven't done one of these in a little while so i'm like Ooh. all right we're going to make sure we do this i don't want to miss a step we're going to do this one and we're going to do this. All right, I'm going to do the top last. And I'm going to put it close to the edge. But I'm also going to put another one down here just for that extra added support. Because honestly, you guys, you could use these. Let's say that next year you're done with this paper and you've used it all or whatever. You could always, this color is going to be around for a while. I would put a label right over. Don't try and pull it off because it's going to take your, you know, some of your cardstock off and thin this and make it a little, a little wimpier. And then you could just put a piece of paper over this, put a new label. And you could adhere a new one on here and you've got a whole new box so you don't have to keep making them as long as they're holding up right all right so we've got our our cardboard there now what i also like to do is i also like to just put a piece just to kind of hold it in spot i'm sure you don't have to do this but i like to just to give it that little extra support all right so we're going to take this in And I just kind of make it in the center and I put that down. You're welcome, darling. I'm so glad I saw it again, you guys. I cased this from a demonstrator in the Netherlands and her name is Karen DeLatt. I think that's how you say her name. Okay, so I'm going to take all these off except the top. Don't do the top till last. Again, that's where your paper sliding in, right? So you don't want to all 
all right, all of a sudden I'm having this thought. All right. Oh, you guys, I'm just remembering something. Okay, we're going to close this up on the sides. See, it's been a while. Now my grandson's here, and all of a sudden I'm thinking differently. All right, so we're going to close this, and we're going to close this down. I know that's how that goes. And now we're also going to take our little piece here and see where these seams and stuff are. We're just going to go ahead and put it over. And she didn't have it to the edges. It's just enough to kind of cover that up. So I'm not going to touch these right now because I just realized I, I did a boo-boo. So I'm going to put my stamp and seal on here. Now this is the seal plus. Just because this is a little sturdier. Hi, Judy. And now you're just going to lay this over just to kind of help when you put the papers in on that area right there. Now, what I did wrong is these are supposed to glue to these like this. So that was my bad. So I'm going to leave these. And I don't even think I'm supposed to have the seal on them so I'm taking my tape back off because you want the top one so yes this is going to weaken my box a little bit but boy let me tell you I'm glad I thought about this all right so don't put these down just put the tops down now you're going to take this one and you're going to take your other cardboard and you're going to put it inside okay I'm going to go ahead and put this just face down. We don't need the measurements up. Like I told you guys, all the measurements will be on the blog. Now I do want to put this side down. So we're going to add our white liner there. Oh, you're welcome, Lisa. Sometimes, you know, it's you see other people that just have amazing ideas. And I think she made this some time ago. And I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I've not found this in all this time. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to put another one right here just to kind of secure it. I'm glad I caught that mistake. That would have been a pain. All right. Now we're going to put it in here. And here that and I'm going to adhere this down. All right. So now if you take a look, this is how your box is going to go. We're going to be putting this on here. All right. And then closing up the bottom. So let's go ahead while we have this like this, we're going to go ahead and add our paper. It does not cover the full front. She kind of had it centered. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and use our or a stamp and seal and I am going to go ahead and go around the outsides because this is going to go in I have like a little carton like like a small milk carton that I'm putting these in oh you're welcome I wish it was my idea right this is this is brilliant all right so I have a little sticking up right there all right, there we go. All right, so now we have our, oh, am I sticking my head in the camera again? Sorry. All right, now we have this. Now we're going to put it on the inside here, okay? So remember I had it here, that was wrong. It goes on the outside. But we're gonna go ahead and put it on here. And I think I'm just gonna use our fabulous stamp and seal plus I love this stuff. Like I said, when I first started using the other one, ooh, I was a little not so sure what was going on, but so much easier now. All right, we're going to take this. We're going to edge it up. And you can see where the burnished mark is. All right, so there's the one side. All right, and now we're going to do the bottom last. Now we're going to fold this side down. I already put it on this side. 
bring it over and just make sure before you I want the corners back here and the bottom part there and just burnish that so now there's my box okay now you can see right here that's where I should have wedged just a little bit more but it's so easy just to do this once you have it together and you can wedge that just a little bit more all right so if you made a bunch of these and just used like our core cardstock and didn't add your DSP on it yet you could just fold these flat and put them away until you needed them so you know the reds the greens the blues you know whatever color you want or all black if you wanted all black and then just use your DSP on the front whatever you could just store all these away nice and flat until you needed them all right so now what we're gonna do is I prefer not to have the flaps on the inside a lot of times you see the flaps going first okay and then you see these well I don't want that because I don't want the flaps on the bottom you know messing up or if they get crinkled or whatever so what I do is I'm gonna put this one in first then my flaps then I put that and that is where you're gonna see my flaps need to be wedged just a little bit okay so that's why I wanted to wait to show you to make sure you wedge both sides because I only did the one side actually I did one side on one and not on the other so I, do, I don't do a big wedge just a little bit all right now I want the top to be the one that comes over so make sure you fold the back one and then we're going to add our glue here okay and I'm gonna flip it this way a little bit to finish that little edge and I also want the flaps and now the flaps it doesn't matter if you put them on the front or the back because they're in the middle okay makes sense so I'm gonna push that one with a tape I'm gonna put this one on the inside I'm now going to put my flaps in and now I'm going to bring the other one over and this one I probably could have pushed in a little farther and then there you go and then I take my you know what works really well is actually your take a pick just slide it down there and kind of go back and forth just to make sure but that um, stamp and seal works really really well so that is how you make the box and now let me just clean this up out of the way all right so we've got our box so the things to remember is I do the flaps in between the two bottom flaps also don't adhere tape around the back side of the bottom you only want to do the top part because you want to you want your top to go over so you have the nice finished edges all the way around on the top otherwise you're having a back come up and that's what I put that tape on at first and that was wrong all right so I like the nice large print on my tab on my um, label here because I'm blind and I say that because I, I wear contact lenses that you wouldn't believe oh, yeah. great darling all right so we're just gonna put that on there like that not so straight but that's okay and now we're going to take our paper and get this cheap perfectly good for for shipping paper and this one I'm going to put in here now what I like to do with this is I take my larger scissors let me find them and don't worry about trying to get your scissors inside I just you're worried about the top part don't worry about the back part and you don't really need any plastic hanging out so I don't put it in the trimmer just because you know you're going through two pieces of plastic and I, it's just easier for me to just do it this way it doesn't have to be super straight I'm not worried about it I just want it because it tells me number one some of them it tells me the year like this is um, the end colors 
and then it tells me what the other colors are that are inside this set. So it gives me an idea of what else is on there. Oh, oh, you're right. Oh no, this isn't going to go in there. This was an example to show you this, this paper. Thank you. The sampler is right here. Thank you, Tashana. The other one I, is I, what I wanted to show you is this paper because I'm going to be doing that one next. But for the video, I wanted to show you this one. Good catch. So here's my paper. And so it's all the different kind. Now, if I chose to cut this down, if I'm going to do my paper like I do for my for my four by sixes here for my 12 by 12, which you can tell this one's almost gone. I'm going to need more. But I could cut these down. I could cut them to the four by six, and then I would have two inches left, which is fine because I usually add them to the inside of my cards or my envelopes or whatever. And so I could do that, but for, for different projects, sometimes you want a six by six. And so I like to leave these as six by six um, until I until I use them I can always cut them down but I just like knowing too that when I look at these I know these came as a six by six and these came as 12 by 12 so that just kind of helps me if I if I want to order again or if I'm doing a 3d project or something I prefer to have my papers larger in case I need them for something like that so let me show you again really quick so this was the original one that I did. And I have a lot. I'll show you. So this is what I have. I haven't put my labels on everything yet. But this is what I got. I got this little um, sterile light. It's just a little... Um, like a milk carton kind of thing. And so they're all like this one I've already named and put the label on it. But that way I can just go like this and pick out what I want. And so now I can put this one back in. And then I still have these to do, but these are either duplicates or they are uh, retired. Like this one's retired. And I liked it so much I have two of them. So the, some are retired, some are not. But if I'm still using them, and try to pick a picture maybe that's not your favorite and now I'm not saying this isn't my favorite but I just liked some of the other ones a little more so pick a pick one on the front that you know that you're not going to use as much as others but you can still tell what it is and of course like I said I still need to add my labels on there but now I have all my papers in here and I'm going to pull out my duplicates back here and put them somewhere else so I can have all my papers here. And now this is my next one. You know what? Did I do? Let's see. I should not forget this important part. I am going to take this. And even though this has plastic on it, I try not to peel it off because I don't want to rip my label. And so I just take your white liner and I bring it in I'm listening to grandpa out there with Grayson I think it's almost nap time I was kidding with my husband and I said okay well I have my video and you know that's about a five hour event <laughs> so I could get a break when my husband's out there he just said uh-huh no, Grayson is really, really a good boy. He's just, here he is, you guys, for you that missed it. He's here visiting with Ani and Papa. And so we're having a really good time today. He's from out of state, so we're having a good visit. All right, so now. Oh, you're welcome, Sandra. Darlene, it really is. Oh, I'm telling you, when I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to share this. This is brilliant. How did I not know this for so long? 
All right, so you can see, uh-oh, Grayson's down for a nap now. He's not happy. He wants to play. But his mommy and daddy are coming back today, so he'll be happy when he wakes up. All right, now we're just going to flip this over. Oh, Bonnie, they are. I am just loving my time with him. My grandkids are all from out of state. So when I get to see them, I'm just, I mean, I'm very lucky. I get to go visit them a lot. All right, guys. So there it is. So that is our box. Remember, save your cardboard. Yeah, I think you guys can get this little milk carton. I think I got it at the dollar store. Either there or maybe Walmart, but I'm looking at it. I don't know. It might be Walmart, but I don't really go there. I don't like that store, so um, it, I don't know. I don't like the dollar store either, <laughs> but it was one of, one of those. All right, so again, here is the back. Make sure you don't forget to put that on because that helps you with your colors. You don't have to pull out your catalog and look it up and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Carol, I think it was Walmart because it has this, you know, Made in USA sticker on there. So kind of thinking it was. But it's just a sterile light. It is a um, nine inches long, seven and three quarters wide, and six. Let me pull it under the light here. Six and an eighth high is what the height, what the size is. Oh, thanks, darling. All right, guys, and then on your printout, it's going to show you a picture on your PDF um, of these two pictures here, so you can get an idea of the of the um, the visual on what that looks like. Don't forget September first, you guys. The new machines are coming. Oh, that's a blurry picture. Sorry about that. The new machines are coming and they are awesome. If you guys have not sub subscribed, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. I have some really fun things coming up. And if you like to get notified when I am live, if you, once you subscribe, just click the little bell there and you will be notified when I am live. I would really appreciate that. And if you like the video and you learned something and you uh, enjoyed my mistake that I fixed, yay. <laughs> I would really appreciate it if you liked the video. That really helps my, thank you. Yes, thumbs up, please. I would really appreciate that. It really helps my video be seen by other people. And I do do this for my business. This is my full-time job. So I really do appreciate that and sharing would be fantastic. I am live on Tuesdays at two o'clock and Sundays at noon. And I do randomly pop on now and again in between time. And so that's where the bell comes in handy. If you subscribe and click that, you'll be notified on my Facebook page, which is Marcy Bessaker Designs. Uh, I also give you a little heads up and say, hey, I'm going live on Facebook at 2 o'clock today or noon, or I'll see you in an hour. Sometimes it might be outside of my normal time. And sometimes I do Facebook Lives that I do not put on um, YouTube. So that's another reason if you want to go over and subscribe to Marcy Bessaker Designs on Facebook, that would be awesome. Again, this is my business. You guys, if you are interested or need anything, I would really appreciate you shopping with me. You can go to my online store through marcybesker.com, which is my blog. So if you go over there and subscribe, you will also see this video along with my blog and comments. And that's where the PDF will be and a little more information for you will be posted a little bit later today on today's video. So if you can go there, what happens is it'll be posted to today after the video and then tomorrow morning you'll get if you subscribe you'll get an email when i post um, when there's a new blog so if you happen to miss it you'll know oh you're so welcome to shauna again everything will be on the blog you guys um, this code is my august code so if you could please use that code when you shop and also if you don't have a catalog there are virtual catalogs on my blog you can click on including the holiday one 
And if you need one, let me know. If you're in the U.S., I can send it to you. Uh, Bonnie, it will go up on my blog post. Once I'm done with the video, I have to get the copy of the link, get it over to my, my blog and finish that up. And I want to make a couple corrections and then it'll be posted probably within that next hour or two. So be looking for that. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. It's been a busy week watching my grandson and he's going down for a nap. So that gives me a chance to go work on my blog and get that up and ready for you guys. Oh, Bonnie, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Um, Tuesday's project is going to be a lot of fun. I will tell you it is forever greenery. I've been wanting to use that again. It's been a little while. As you see, I've been working on a lot of Christmas and I am changing it up just a little bit and getting, thank you, Carmen. And, um, getting a few other projects done that I've been wanting to get out there to you guys that are not Christmas. And then of course I'll probably jump back into Christmas because who doesn't love Christmas, right? The Forever Greenery, the whole suite, was my absolute favorite when I saw the new catalog. I was like, that is what I have to have. And I really, really like it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Again, I always try to say, if there is a project that you guys want to see, a stamp set or a technique or anything that you're interested that you haven't seen or can't find or just want to see what I do with it, um, let me know and I will get something created for you and um, we will definitely um, get that on my YouTube channel because I'm there's so many I'm overwhelmed there's so many great projects with stamping up that I, there's so many I want to do so it's kind of like oh what's next uh, but if you do want to see something or how it works let me know oh the other good news you guys is California um, is opening our hair salons again on Monday, I think. And um, so I'm waiting for my hairdresser to schedule me. Yay. So hopefully that'll be soon. It won't be by Tuesday, I'm sure, but hopefully by next weekend. All right, guys. Well, thank you again. I am so glad you enjoyed this project. Again, um, I got this from the Netherlands from Karen Delat, and her name will be on my post and on the PDF. So if you want to go see how she did it, um, it's pretty much the same, but, um, she goes, I think if I'm remembering right, I think her tutorial goes back and forth between English and, um, Dutch, I think. And so it's, it, I, I'm going to show that was the tutorial I'm thinking about, but anyway, so hopefully this will help you. And, um, I can't wait to hear that you guys made some boxes and I will chat with you guys soon. You guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you Tuesday with some forever greenery and adding a couple different colors in there and some fun. You are welcome, Carol. Thanks, Bonnie. Thanks, everybody. Tashana, you guys have a great day. Bye.